What's up, LD Shadow Lady here, and welcome back to Afterlife, where I have been reincarnated as a kangaroo. A bouncy creature from Australia that is very cheeky and will always try to be annoying, only to jump away when you get near. I am a desert inhabitant. You came from the deserts of Australia, so you spawn in a desert. Well, that is a lie. I spawned right there. But I will now make it my life's mission to someday make it back to the desert. Oh no, I'm fragile with three less hearts than normal. I'm constantly jumping around, so I become hungry faster. I have a pouch pocket that can hold extra items. Oh cool, I can put my stuff in there. And I have a kangaroo jump. So normally I jump like this, but if I press my special button, I can jump this high! <gasps> Oh, that was close. I should be very careful. Heh. <laughs> now, my first mission as a kangaroo is to find somebody to annoy. Maybe I'll start with the person that murdered me, Lauren. <laughs> yes. Let's head in a northwesterly direction towards Lauren's evil lair. Luckily for me, I don't have to deal with rivers anymore. I can just leap right over them. Sucks to be you. Oh, <gasps> the jellyfish. Ah, oops, I've fallen down a hole. But luckily, I don't need a rescuer this time. I can rescue myself. <laughs> Just beyond this beautiful biome is the lair of the evil Endarian herself. Lauren. <laughs> ah, here it is. Casa de Murderer. And one thing I learned during my short time spent imprisoned here is that the temple has many holes. And I will take advantage of this to be annoying. Right here in one of these little cavities, I'm going to construct a very annoying noisemaker. And once activated, this will cause major annoyance. Yep, that is certainly very annoying. Time to hide that away and evacuate. And I actually have one more trick up my sleeve, because as you know, Lauren is an Endarian, which means her one weakness is water. But look at this temple! Why, wouldn't it make a fabulous waterfall? So, let me grab my buckets, and it's time to cause some real chaos. This may or may not result in death. Let's see how she deals with this one. Two hours later. Oh, 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 uh, this is my cue Liz to leave. Lizzie? Lizzie? Ah! Uh oh. Lizzie, what did you do? Time to get out of here before Lauren traps me in her dungeon again. Oh, it's raining too. <gasps> so she can't even chase me. Wow. I am one lucky kangaroo. Now I need to find my next victim. Oh my, look at this. A completely unattended castle. Why, I'm sure I could do something annoying to this. In fact, I have the perfect idea, and all I need is a bunch of snow. So where oh where will I find some snow around here? Oh, I remember. This way. Oh, perfect. I also need these pumpkins to create an endless supply of snow. There it is, the snowy haven. Let's collect enough snow to make a few snowmen, but I have to be very careful where I step because I don't want to fall into powdered snow, which coincidentally is exactly what I came here to collect. So I'm going up into the snowy mountains in search of powdered snow. Oh, yes. This looks like the kind of place where I would find powdered snow. I should be really careful because if I get stuck in this, I'll be in trouble. So grab my bucket. Okay, that is not powdered snow, apparently. That is just regular snow. So, where is the powdered snow? Huh? I don't know where it is. I cannot find the powdered snow. I have severely overestimated the risk of accidentally landing in powdered snow. In fact, I can't even find any powdered snow. Where is it? Maybe it's over there. Here it is. Powdered snow. I'm gonna fill my pouch. I've filled every receptacle with powdered snow. Now we are back. First, I will construct my snow golems. 
so they may get to work covering this place in snow. And we need them all over the place. No surface left unsnowed. Now get to work, my children, while I work on the next part of my plan, which is actually the potentially deadly part, involving this powdered snow. And just in case you don't know what happens if you land in powdered snow, I will demonstrate. If one were to walk into the powdered snow, one would find themselves freezing to death and they must escape before their hearts deplete. So of course, I thought it would be very funny and annoying to place this powdered snow everywhere. What could possibly go wrong? <gasps> CPK's home. Well, that is my oh, cue to what? leave. Goodbye. <laughs> What's going on? He didn't even seem that annoyed. Maybe I should go back. Excuse me. What's going on? I'm just being annoying. Okay. Did you put the snow down? I did, yes. That's what kangaroos do. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> you go so high. What are you? I'm a kangaroo. Oh, of course. It should have been obvious from the snow and pumpkins. Yes. Did you put the pumpkins down? Well, yeah, I had to make the snow golems. That was sort of a byproduct. Oh, it's actually very convenient. There. No, I'm supposed to be annoying, not helpful. You're quite helpful. I mean, the powdered snow, I'll be honest, the first 30 seconds, didn't even notice it. Ah, right. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. What kind of kangaroo am I if I can't successfully annoy CPK? I will not rest until that man declares that he is annoyed. So let's try again. The next day. CPK seems to have made the mistake of leaving his castle unattended again. Well, this time, I know just what to do. I will ensure that his castle is completely overrun by loud, stinky, cloven-hooved creatures. Cows. This time all I need is a little bit of wheat to start Operation Cow Takeover. I'll just need to seize a few of Scott's stray cows and together we take over the castle. One baby cow at a time. But if I want to increase their numbers quickly, I'm going to need a lot more wheat. There. This should be enough to build a giant cow army. Now breed. One eternity later. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would, but I will not stop until there are cows in every nook and cranny of this castle. It's a masterpiece. I've never seen so many cows in one place before. This is surely a great annoyance. So I will just leave a little sign here to claim this work of art, and then I will flee the scene of the crime with my overly dramatic bounces. Good luck getting rid of all those cows, CPK. Three days later. Let's see if CPK has solved his cow dilemma yet. Oh dear. That's still a lot of cows. They're everywhere. How did one get up there? I don't understand. <gasps> Wait, there's a sign. Are you annoyed yet? Yes, this is much more annoying, but free food. Second thoughts, super annoying. I have weakness and these take ages to kill. This is hell. Why would you do this? Well, CPK, that's just what kangaroos do. And now that I have been successful in annoying him, it's time to find my next victim. And wouldn't you look at that. It seems a new victim has logged onto the server. Why don't we pay him a visit? He's probably over here somewhere. Go, go, gadget. Aerial view. <coughs> there he is. How can we annoy him? He looks like he's recording a video. How, how is he not seeing this? What's wrong with this man? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hello? Let's bounce away. You'll never catch me. Okay, this might be getting dangerously close. Maybe I can. Hit him off the wall. Wait, why is he immune to snowballs? What the heck? <gasps> ah, time to bounce. <laughs> of course he's immune to snowballs. It's so hard to annoy people around here. But I have the perfect idea for my next victim that is sure to succeed. This one's called the big boat. So I've come here to Scott's area to pull off the biggest prank of all time. Here is the setup. 
And now all I need to do is craft a bunch of boats and drop them in the hopper. And they will be dispensed right here. But in order for this to actually be annoying, I'm going to need a couple of hundred boats. I just need to turn all these into planks and then craft as many boats as I can. Ta-da! Hopefully I don't crash the server with this, otherwise Scott is going to be extra annoyed. The boats are in position. The frame rate is low. Now we remove the contraption and we wait for Scott to arrive. I will wait up here like Batman, but I'm a kangaroo. One eternity later. <gasps> Scott logged in. Where is he? There he is. Target acquired. Come on. Stop jumping around with the umbrella and notice the boat. Oops, I forgot to fix his sugar cane. <gasps> He's gonna get in. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh no. He took some damage. He's gonna be so mad. But it worked perfectly. Uh, <laughs> Hi, Scott. Is there a problem? I don't know. Is there a problem, Lizzie? <laughs> Uh, yeah, kind of. I'm drowning. Help! This looks great. Yeah, is it annoying? A little bit. Good. Goodbye. She's lucky because the boats count as entities. I can't grab her. I just realized he has vampire powers. He definitely could hurt me if he wanted to. I need to get far away from here. Somewhere Scott can't find me. And I'm told that the nearest desert is 7,000 blocks this way. Oh my god. <laughs> what is a barracuda? It's a fish. I just died to a fish!